Hello, Kerbal Susram 1.0 is just around the corner, so here's a quick rundown of the latest and greatest news about it. There's a new aerodynamic system, Think Ferrum Aerospace, but simplified so that it's easier to design craft with less knowledge of aerodynamics. Along with this, there are new procedural fairings to protect your craft and make them more aerodynamic, as well as heat shields, as you can now take damage and lose parts from going too fast through the atmosphere. Resources. You can mine ore to turn into fuel on planets, moons, and asteroids. There are 38 new parts to support this resource system and the new aerodynamics, like drills, air brakes, this new xenon tank, new larger wings and landing gear, and several parts have been retextured to bring their style up to date with the latest KSP parts. Along with these parts, all the IVAs have been finished, including for things like the Hitchhiker and Science Lab. Speaking of the Science Lab, the mechanics of it have changed to add a new way to get science and make it more useful. Instead of just using it to restart experiments and get their full science value able to be transmitted, it now slowly builds up a certain amount of science that you can later transmit or transmit as you're building it up. I'm not really sure which. I also accidentally just bumped my mic. Remember the difficulties with Kerbal's climbing things and ladders? Well, now with Kerbal Clamber, you can hit F to climb up over things. Things. Not quite sure how that works. Who is the Kerbal climbing? One of the new female Kerbals. Along with these changes, all parts have been rebalanced along with career mode itself, offering a number of new contracts including space tourism and recovery contracts, which are like a more varied version of the rescue a Kerbal in orbit contracts with a twist. The engineer report, instead of just telling you craft statistics, also highlights potential errors you may have made, like crude parts with no crew, things that require electricity with no way of getting electricity, obstructed hatches, and so on. Time Warp 2, basically think Kerbal Alarm Clock's ability to go to a point in time, but stock. Additionally, the the sound has been overhauled, many bugs have been fixed, many optimizations have been made, and the tier 0 buildings are back. Now this was just a quick overview as I typically try to do with these news videos, so for more information there are links in the description to my notes and script as well as to other videos that KSP YouTubers have gotten actual early access to and they've made videos, the best of which I'd recommend is Winter Owl's video. It is an hour long, however it is very detailed and there's lots of little extra things in there that were not mentioned in any other videos. I would also recommend Inter Elysium's video, and that's about it. Thanks for watching, as always, see you in space. For anyone interested, textures are compressed in memory by default now. Cut that part out and add it at the end. Along with these parts, all the IAV and the new aerodynamics are now available as well. No. The engineer report, instead of just telling you part statistics of your craft in progress, or instead of just telling you part stati- which are like a more- time for attempting to record a thing with background noise of someone yelling randomly.